Jim Leland elected to Baseball Hall of Fame on first ballot, Lou Piniella falls one vote short. Jim Leland, who managed the Florida Marlins to a World Series championship and the Detroit Tigers to two AL pennants, was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame on Sunday. Leland was elected at MLB's winter meetings via a vote of the Contemporary Baseball Era Non-Players Committee, which considers accomplishments since 1980. The Hall of Fame announced the results of the voting Sunday evening. Leland shared an image of himself in his bedroom alongside his wife, Katie, at the time he got the call. Managers CITO Gaston, David Johnson, and Lou Piniella, umpires Joe West and Ed Montague, and executives Hank Peters and Bill White were also on the ballot, which requires 12 of 16 votes for enshrinement. Only Leland was elected, with 15 out of 16 votes on his first ballot. Piniella fell one vote short of enshrinement, with 11 on his third try. West, Gaston, Johnson, Montague, and Peters each received fewer than five votes. Leland, 78, remains involved in baseball as a special assistant to the Tigers. He spent 22 seasons as an MLB manager with the Pittsburgh Pirates, Marlins, Colorado Rockies, and Tigers. He managed the Pirates to an 856-863 record, 0.496, over 11 seasons from 1986 to 96 before joining the Marlins in 1997. He managed the Marlins to a World Series championship in his first season, then left after his second to manage the Colorado Rockies for a single season in 1999. After six years as a scout with the St. Louis Cardinals, Leland finished his career with the Tigers for